Hi, how you good morning? It's been a while. You're welcome to my YouTube channel at Abraham Orukwe. Now, in this YouTube channel, I teach business, I teach poetry, I teach um, everything that has to do with creating value with your value proposition. I mean, business consultant, you're welcome. Today, we're looking at poetry management, poetry farm management. Anywhere you put it, it's the same thing. So, um, in this YouTube channel, you, those of you that have subscribed, thank you very much. If you are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and the notification, the notification button for, to enable you get um, alert. <laughs> no, not create alert, the notification for new uh, videos. So, this morning, we're looking, today, in my farm, we're looking at uh, poultry farm management. This is our farm here in Abuja, Nigeria, where we have these layers. I said in almost all my videos, in my sessions, in my seminars, in my speaking engagement, that structure is one thing in poultry farming. Stocking is another thing in poultry farming. The operations is the main thing in your poultry farm. But people are always carried in. I want to buy a battery cage. I want to build a pen. I want to <clears throat> stock my bed with 10,000 capacity, 50,000 capacity. Is good, bravo, but see, without your operations, it's of no use. Without your operations, you see now what I'm doing this morning here. Every morning, <coughs> I take pure stock record of, we balance our previous book of the form of the day before. In the sense that everything, come let me show you something now. Today is um, Saturday, we all we did here. I will explain to you now. Like here, please, we have two wings here. In this wing, let me show you, sir. We have, um, bring, let me show you. Here we have Saturday. The cell, the, uh, the eggs, the layers in one cell laid 11 eggs. B, 12 and 15 eggs. Let me show you. Let me show you practically here. So, the essence of this data is to enable you understand the production in your farm. Don't just go around picking eggs. No, you must be careful in doing it. Like here, this is A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7. So what we did now, let me show you them now. What we did here now is that, if you see, today is Saturday. This is A. So, meaning, in this place here, we pick 11 crates. Let me show you on that one here. Here also, this is B. In this B here, meaning we picked 15 crates of eggs. From this B, just like that, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, A, down to Z. So the essence of this is that data is very important in your poultry farm. Data is very important. Without data, you don't even know if your farm is doing well. You don't, or you just know you have beds. And cash flow does not equal does not equal growth in your business. The fact you are buying and selling, transacting, is not, um, don't think your business is growing. You need to measure your risk. You need to calculate what is the average eggs you produce in a day, in a week, in an hour, in a month. This will now enable you to determine if truly your business is growing. And you must understand that one thing about poultry farming is that in management, the hygiene of your poultry farm is very important. It's very important. You can see us now. Let me show you something now. Come see our own place now. You see. It's, I made it mandatory and I told my staff, you must mop this place daily. You must mop daily. You can see how clean it, it is here. Let me show you something now. <clears throat> you can see how clean this whole poultry farm is now. The essence of this is that your bed, your environment matters a lot. You must keep it. There are some poultry farms that they say smell, stink. Ours does not smell. Why? Because we change our dust every three, three days. Let me show you here. Like now we feed them this morning. And what you must learn to do is to enable you to uh, minimize feed. You must learn to do it. Let's call it rubbing. This rubbing. Because you know when these bed eat, at times they don't know, because they are not on the ground, they cannot scatter. You know, you see chicken scattering to get this thing. So what you don't do is that, you call it, you take your three finger or two, you do this called rubbing. If you see something now, when you do this, you are making them come out to eat. You're making them come out. So you see now, and once you do this, you see them bringing out their steak. 
thinking that food has come. Okay, see, show them again. You can see what happened now. Currently, right now, they are already coming out again to start eating. Take it down, 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 down. You can see. So once you do this rubbing, it enables them to eat better. Come see. You do it this way. Right? So these are things that you need to learn in poultry management. You need to understand these two things in your poultry in your poultry farm. So with this, you are, you are able to and you can see now. You take it back, you can see. See what I just did. You see the effect of what I just did now. They are all coming out again to eat. They look at this side now. You see that these ones are not eating right now. Because to them, meal is uh, the meal is gone. But see something again now. You do the same rubbing here too. This keep them the activity. So you don't just feed your bed and leave them there. No. You feed them and ensure that they eat. Ensure that they eat. Because at times not all the bears eat at the same time. So what do you now realize that some are eating and some are not eating? So what do you do to enable them to eat? Is to ensure you do this rubbing for them. Because this will enable them to eat well. I said this will enable them to do what? Eat well. Because you could see you do it this way, like this like this so this is part of your poultry management you need to know how to do you could see just take it back see what is happening you could see these are things you need to know as a poultry farmer i know some persons newly but for you coming into poultry farm newly you need to understand that this rubbing is if you see the way they are eating right now so once you must ensure wool you see this part of the loss in poultry farming we just lost this bed Things like this are inevitable <laughs> in poultry farm. So what happened? This bed, we bought this bed, two thousand two fifty plus transportation. After eating our bed, our feed, you lay some egg and it's gone. You see? So, so these are the things that at times you see in poultry farm that they won't tell you the game. They tell you poultry farm is good, it's good. But so, but once in a while, you you tend to see these kind of things. So what happens when you see this kind of things? That is to say, you must learn to monitor your beds. Monitor your beds. Now, we don't know why this is dead. I believe there are some other things, but I'll show it to my vet doctor to show this thing. So, you must learn to monitor your bed. You see the way you have, uh, maybe if you, you are married, you have a baby, I like have a daughter. You must monitor your bed. Check them. Don't just put them in the cage. Or oh, no, no, no. You must monitor them. It's very important. See the one that are not eating. See the one that are sick. Know what to do. I need to drop this one here. So, again, this feed now. This feed is 5,800. And we feed them with minimum three bags in a day. Three bags a day. So, like here now, the essence of feeding them with that bag is for them to hit maximum productivity. These are the things you need to understand in your poultry farming. Poultry farming, if you really want to make it well in poultry farming, you must pay attention to details. Remember, I've talked about your record keeping. I've talked about paying key attention, monitoring, monitor the activities of the bed. And the third one I'm talking about will now be ensuring that their medication is well followed. If you see our water now, this we're putting multivitamin in this for them. After the multivitamin, we're going to give, we will start giving them antibiotic this is to enable them fight any toxic things in their system why here they are this eater? like here you could see straight down Come, let me show them sorry. straight down here everything pour down from here and go here this is money this is money i told you this is money so what we want to do is this that i don't know we pack this and sell as fertilizer to the people that come to buy a bag here in Nigeria goes as far as 1,005. The one that is really, really dry, we sell at least 1,516. Imagine you selling close to about um, 60 bag. That is extra cash from your poultry farm. They were talking about poultry management. I'm talking about other stream of income now. Like this now go. We change this in every three, every three to four days, three to four days. But ideally it's three days so that you don't contaminate the beds here. All this waste now. You pack it there to another piece and dry it up here. Yeah. But that's why you see, you see our floor. Very neat. Very neat. The smell is not there. 
And one thing you must pay attention to again. Let me show you. You must pay attention to this. This. When I talk about monitoring, I was talking about you checking their their uh, waste. There are some of them have some of them. It's true there are ways you can see those that have disease, those that are having a um, infection already. But like us, like we see, there is nothing like green and yellow. Green and yellow represent stress in them. Green and yellow <coughs> represent malnutrition in them. Green and yellow, um, well, like, let me call it my green and yellow sheets. Uh -huh. Green and yellow sheets. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I'm just trying to just make. <coughs> Demystify that thing of poultry farming is this, is that. No. Love it. Care for it. Monitor it. Give medication and you smile to the bank. So this is what we check here. So let me show you something here again. So like here now. If you see, then you need to, I said monitoring. See something about our bears now. If you see this now. See, one thing you need to know, to know if the bears are eating. You touch here. Now this guy is not eating. Maybe he and his girlfriend are quarreling. Nobody knows. So, <laughs> but I'm just trying to make you have fun when you're learning. Now, if you see, the weight is very light. Very, very light. So, if now, monitoring is not being taken on this, we don't, I don't observe this bear, you realize that the bear will just die like that and you think something will happen. So, what I would do now is that I would keep this one here. And I'll keep it separately. Because we need to take it to an isolation. I'll show you the isolation. In your farm, you need to have an isolation center where you put these things. I'm not talking about COVID-19 isolation center. <laughs> like, I'm just trying to make you... I don't want to look like this video is so serious like my former video, but you need to isolate them. Monitor them. Take care of them there. If you now move them to this other side. So let me drop this one here. No, this is a colleague that is dead. So these are part of the loss you get in poultry farm. But I'll tell you, poultry farming is good, it's good, it's good. It's, yes, yes, it's good. So maybe now... Two things have happened to this bear where it's not eating. Maybe it's not used to eating in the deep in that place. In a jekpako, a jekpako in my language in Nigeria means you know it does not have time for dining table food. You have time serve me on the floor, let me eat and satisfy. But you show this the brothers and the sisters, this ones are the and your brother, the love eating. So in the sense that when you are monitoring your bed, some of them might not be able to eat from this place. What happened? They start getting starvation. They start getting losing weight and sickness start coming in. So you can see now, the same bed in the farm, show them again. The same bed that could not eat, you see, it's getting energy. So you know, this is why I talk about monitoring in your farm is very important. Very important. You can see now, it beginning to eat now. So you need to go around and see this thing. Come see something again now, like here now. I'm trying to do something. Like here, once you take this now out, good. You see, you, oh, sorry, you cannot see it. You can see there's a lot of food here. See, see, meaning it's eating. This is what I call monitoring. It's not just dropping this bed and say I'm a farm owner. No, this whole thing matters a lot. So I drop that bed. You can see now the bed is eating right now. So these are the things that you need to ensure you monitor your beds so let's come let's go around again so i've talked about this you see once you see all these beds doing you need to check them you need to pay attention to them you come down again remember this money you've gotten one lost already one is sick you go around like this again you monitor these beds every time you look at them how are they sharing and you could see this guy now too much food here you could see how he is swollen those kind of things again and you must check your lighting system there must be cross ventilation in your farm let me show them again there should be cross ventilation you see the way our roof is we take it again there should be a proper cross ventilation there should be and one thing you must learn to do in your farm in your poultry management is you need to rat proof the area r o a t p r o o s rat proof now the one way is rat proof you know one thing that transfers disease in farms is rats. 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 Now, those rats come to your farm to actually eat this food. This is what they come for. Now, but fortunately, those rats do not have vaccine. 
towards and maybe uh, immune to disease. So the disease that they're taking from the bush where they're looking for food or from that farm, because they are hustling, they want to enlarge their feeding system. They feel like eating something touche, something nice, something yeah, yeah, something nice, right? <laughs> so I'm just trying to make this video very interesting for you. What they do, they'll come here from the roof, climb here, bang bang, bang bang, bang bang, enter here, eat from here as they are eating, they are putting disease here. And this is a new stone bed that is sleeping, wake up in the morning and stretch. Ah, thank God for a new day. They start eating from here. What are they eating? They are eating disease. This guy eat it. He gives to this guy, he gives to that guy, he gives to the other guy, and your farm is messed up. So, what do you do to rat proof your farm? This is what you need to do. You must ensure that you seal every day your farm. Like our farm now is all seed. All seed. All seed. All seed. We use nets to cover this aspect. We use nets round the whole pen. Come, let's show you something now. Round the whole pen. We rat proof everywhere. It's an intentional act. So that's why in poultry farming, money in poultry management farming or management farming poultry, any grammar they are speaking here. So you understand what I'm trying to explain to you. You must rat proof your farm. You see this way down. If not, rat will bring disease into your farm. And when they bring disease into your farm, at that time it will be disastrous for you. It will be disastrous from you. It, you might not find it very easy funny. Let me show you something again. At that level. You can see one thing our pen now. You take it down here. You see how beautiful it is. Free from every form of odor, free from every form of smell because of poultry management maintainer. These are the things that I do, I teach in my in my poultry class just to enable poultry owners understand or understand what it is. And also, in your farm also, don't put your drugs or what you give to your base under the sun it affects them but that's why you see what we did now these are the syringe we use <clears throat> whatever you are doing don't just never ever in your poultry farm pour things like this into their drinking water it's wrong always ask the vet doctor how many syringe how many cl will i use from here and put in their own but most people just take this thing and because they are experts they are professional they have gauging in their head. But you know, we, that I'll put it now, we hustle this money, oh, nobody dash us, the government not give us. Now hustle, we hustle, gather around 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 1 million, 4 million, 20 million, to build this kind of thing. So what do we now do? We are very conscious to details. These are drugs. So because they are drugs, they are measurement you need to use to get what you are looking for. You don't assume. They're like maybe you are sick, you are taking different kind of drugs, all in the name of you are sick. No, rather, this is why you need a syringe. Measure it and put here. Then when you come here again, these are the other areas here. Then let me show you something here. These are the other side of the pen. This is my very this is my colleague Martin. He's our farm uh, guy. He's really doing a wonderful work in what we are doing. Thank you very much, Martin. So if you come here again, let me show you something. Then, yeah, this is the other side of the pen, also. This is the other side of our pen. You know, meaning we have, so what we did here is that the labeling still goes round. Like here, this I-16. I-1, I-3, I-2, I-4. We have I-1, I-2, I-3. This, 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 this. To what? 26. This is to what? 30. This 30. So with this, we can get infective data collections. Remember, I told you in the beginning that data collection is very important. Part of the rat proving we are doing is part of what this man is helping us to do. We're trying to block everywhere here so that rats cannot come inside. Rats cannot come inside because what rat can cause you in your farm is bigger than what you can think of. There are some rats that have this longer mouth, they carry more disease. So hold again, we're talking about your lighting. If you can put generator, if you have power supply, if you have a uh, solar, you can use those ones. And also, up here, there must be a good ventilation system. Like, okay, let me, I'll have to take you outside so you can easily see what I'm... You can see, I don't know if you can see some uh, light, um, um, light coming in from there. It's what we build our pen for 
proper ventilation meaning because it's heat time the atmosphere is hot and in most cases the beds need good hair to come inside so i talked about monitoring aileron what else again do i know what else again i'm not talked about let me do a recap one i talked about data collection and management two i talked about monitoring three i have talked about rat proving your farm four i've talked about um your marketing strategy see in poultry farming you don't assume that people will always let me see some sorry you don't assume that people would always always come and buy okay the guy the guy maybe the guy went to nightclub he's having some hangover that's why he's sleeping by this time so you don't assume that uh people will always come and buy run digital marketing create a facebook page create an instagram account our instagram handle is smart planet farms go and check us out there our facebook page is smart planet farms run ad run ad see people people need money they want to see you must use money to get more money you must use money to create value that will attract more inputs huh? so in our place we run farm we, we run um digital marketing in our site so this is basically our main pain here our pain and here also i've talked about our water system here this is our water that tank up there is dedicated for this pain is directly from the borehole so for no reason water because these beds they consume a lot of water so the way we contact it now is that it comes from here from here straight here and it's automatic we did in the sense that as water is coming it gets to some level it stops come please take it up let's see here it gets to some level it stops you can see from here it has come here and once it gets to some level the water begins to drop um so let me ask martins 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 you open this place is it flowing open it please okay you see now here is where we side here up here okay so you could see this water system is part of everything you must understand how to do good here we go boom it comes from here like this you see you can see it's pouring in already can, can you see it there it's pouring you can see our water system so that is how the water system flow from here it goes straight down also to that place so the essence of this place in your farm you must have a dedicated tank for your water system this is part of the poultry management i'm talking about then let me close here because we have to see you then this board here what do you do with this board it's for mainly our write up we really like see something we train you must train your staff don't just come and start shouting hey you do this hey you do this hey you do that no if you are the owner of the farm go and learn go and take time and read knowledge is power but the correct application of knowledge gives power don't put it knowledge alone is not power the correct application of the knowledge of golfing in your poultry farm applying it rightly is what gives you power so yeah i teach them a lot i train them in my farm because you must train your staff these are our board we use then this our water purifier this enable us to purify or flicker the dead from our bowl even though we use bowl we still use this one here so let me take you outside so you can see what i was telling you so i'll take this guy out these are the lost in chain in poultry farm at times these are the bars we give them and also what you need to do again in your poultry farm ensure you don't take what you use these shoes don't do not leave our farm we don't allow this to live inside this pen so what i'll do now because i'm going out now because i'm going out what i do i always put is a is a rule this must not leave this pen if not this this will bring about disease transfer in your farm because we have our layer pen we have our um, brother's pen we have our high solution center these are things that brings a bad worth at the end of the day disease transfer so i'm going to pull this guy here because i'm done here and i'm pulling this off right now he's gone why i will take this guy to what i told you again to the isolation center 
this to the mortuary, this to the isolation center. Um, the undertaker will do the needful to this guy, while the veterinary doctor will do the needful to keep this guy alive. And um, as I said, for ensure the slippers you use, yeah, so this is what is called deep litter. So, what we do before you come to our farm inside this place, you put your leg here. This is disinfectant water, you put Isa here. After doing this, before you are qualified to step your leg here and wear that shoe. Then we'll do this, we we'll bring it here. Then this one we'll do it here. So this is our farm at foot here. This is our farm view. This is how we did it. So the time of planting this in the farm, you could be wondering like why this fine horticulture is just to enable give them proper um, um transfer of oxygen and carbon dioxide. I don't know if that grammar correct, but sure you understand what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so here yeah, I could see. This on that bed we lost yesterday. We lost two beds. We lost one yesterday. We lost one today. So you can't ask him why. So these are things you experience in poultry farming. So if you look here now, let me show you what I was showing outside inside the pen. Let me show you something. Up here, that is for the ventilation for the farm. This enables proper ventilations. You can see that cap on top of the roof is what I was showing you inside earlier on today. And this. So we plant all this flower just to enable the farm area good. And uh, we have a cat. Show them, show them how pussy pussy. The, 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 the cat is angry. So this cat, why would you have this cat? This cat is under security for rats. So in your farm, you need to get a cat if possible. Why take this guy here? Come to the isolation center here. So this is our own isolation center. So what do you do now? Because some of those birds cannot eat properly well in the cage. So what do we do? We now have this isolation center where we bring sick birds. This is purely an isolation center for all our sick layers. Why do we bring them here? So that at the end of the day, you can monitor them here. Some cannot eat because they are sick. They cannot be eating inside. They can. They cannot be eating inside that um, deep uh, inside the battery cage you bring them here you monitor them you can see now these ones were brought here before now some of them they were not active when we brought them newly they were not active they were sick they were lazy they could not eat so we bring them to this isolation center take care of them here they eat and we monitor them before taking them back to the main pen so these are things you need to understand your poultry management very important let me show you that side as we proceed so then um Sorry, let me, so let me show you our store. And one thing about poultry management, time size is very important. You must be able to strategize in your time. Monitor the market. Dece now, this is December time. Feed will shoot up. Prices will go up. And if you cannot monitor the market very well and the price goes up, it affects your profit. So what do you do? If you have enough money, you stock. Let me show you something. Let me open the window here before we go inside. If you have enough money, what do you do? Okay, it's locked in there. <clears throat> Let me show you here. If you have enough money, you stock. What do I mean by stock? You ensure you stock your farm. Boom. This is what we did. So what we've done is that we bought all this feed. Like, I like playing when I'm doing my videos though. It's not just that serious, serious, serious type. So we bought all this feed. This is for our bo um, boilers. This is for our layers. Now this feed will take our this is to take our bed for not in January. What we just did now. We've closed that gap if for market filtration price. Because every time you go to buy, now we bought this bag, 5,800. Maybe by next week it will become 6,000. That 200 Naira margin has affected your, your bed. So what do you do? So when your competitors are selling let's say a crate of egg at um let me say 1007 to now game them in the game or to not make them put two pressure in them you start selling six thousand one thousand six fifty why do you have that power to control the price in your in your in your market space in your market share because your feed you are having <clears throat> the feed you are having is in old price so this is why the this is why what you gain when you stock your feed, but remember they have expiring day, so don't go and buy oh, because Abraham said I should buy more. You want to buy 100,000 bags? No, please. After maximum span of this is three months, 
some two, three months, they are gone. So please be careful. That's why you, we've done this now. Yeah. And this is our store. They will keep almost everything we have here in our store. We keep things here. Because, and also in your store, you need to arrange things properly well. Properly well, because if not, your staff will start. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So this is our scale. We use this scale for, for winning our bed. When it's time to sell our we yeah. use this one. So these are like our small pharmacy. These are drugs. These are drugs for our bed. So you must, some drugs that are not, um, that the spine date is not close, you can buy them also. And yeah, this is what we have here. You need to have this in your farm. We use this one to disinfect all our farms. Let's say once we finish selling our layers, our umbrellas, we use one to do disinfect that farm. So, these are things you need to understand in your work. Poultry farm management. Remember, we talked about poultry farm management, despite for layers. Then here is our farm. Over there, we have our fish pond, which we are yet to stock. We're stocking this fish pond very soon. They need our generator house here. This light is very important. It should be standby. And also, it's our solar. This generator of solar. Because here, yeah, light is something that is terrible. So, we will install this solar. And you see, it comes in this charge. Let me show you something. So, this solar charges from night in the evening. What we'll do is at daytime, we we'll switch off the light. Daytime, we we'll switch off the light. And what do we, uh, we switch off the generator. Switch off everything. Because we we'll use the sunlight. Then you can see the way it's charging. Take it close. I don't know if you can see the way. You see, it's charging. It's entering. It's charging. It's charging. It's charging. So from this one, uh, we all generate up from 7 p.m. in the evening to 10 p.m. in the night. Then from 10 p.m. to 6 p.m., the solar take over. This is our bag of This charcoal is for heating. We need to create heat for our water. So basically, these are the pair of the big generation. And let me show you our water system again. You should be able to do the proper water system for your farm. Very important. Very, very important. Very important. Uh, so let me show you our upper one. Why do we not do this upper part? It's to a At the end of the day, um, come see. Yeah. Yeah. So this upper is for flushing. We're going to frozen food. So when you when you have boilers, that have issues, what do you just do? You cut the lid off, you bring them here, you put them down here, wash them, treat them, wash them here, you put them here, and throw them, sell as frozen chicken. So, but please don't sell dead bed to people. Karma is real. If your bed head is bad, you can kill them and slaughter them and sell them. But please don't sell dead bed for people in the name of frozen food. Do if you if you know you have a disease that can affect human, don't say those bad. Hmm? I'm just being sincere. I know some, some of you like money because of the investment. You only want to do all those things. Let me just show you. These are boilers. These are boilers. These are boilers. I don't know if you can see it. These are boilers. Why are not going inside right now? So I'll do a video on this boiler very soon. Teach you how to do your boiler market, how to run your boiler, the, get the right bed, especially the water system. In my next video, you'll be hearing more about these boilers here. And um, I'll be telling the rack right now. I'm showing you everything about our So we talk about coaching money, every cap, we talk about monitoring, data collection, medication. We're we'll talking about um, not again medication, we've talked about and buying in stock so that they will control the market price of the competitors and gain more market share. Market share, I'm a company by profession though, I'm a business coach. Market share means your market reach. What are the people that how many loyal customers you have? And finally, let me show you one last thing. Your water system is very important in your poultry farm. Bam. Let me show you that. It comes to the water system. So why I did this in my farm is that these are things you can put in place to enable you to have balance in your poultry farm. If not, you are going under pressure. So I can agree. So every year we put we put we put water everywhere. This is the important to put lots of things in our farm. This is our water system. This tank. So our house drain. This 
walked around for this. This ten thousand. This one go for our fish hatchery. This one here. Show me again. You can come closer, sir. This one here. This one thousand five. Take care of the staff house and uh, the management quarter. This one thousand here. Take care of the boilers and the uh, the boilers and the what is this again called? The quarantine center. Then what again? Then why that one thousand? inside the pen is mainly and solely for that thing. So your water system is very important, very important in your food treatment. So I think with this, I'm not going really to confuse you. I've been able to show you proper poultry management system. Thank you very much for subscribing to our channel. If you are new in this channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you've gotten value, share this uh, channel out. In this video, I'll be leaving two videos here. One year one year the one year is talking about how to set up a poultry farm why you're talking about your business modern canvas thank you very much i appreciate you and i love you so very much see you in is it poultry ever see you in the other side of the income